we're back. Um, I have Max in the kitten room because I've been busy cleaning. Um, mostly, I've been cleaning out this closet. It might not look any better to you, but it looks like a huge difference to me. So, I've had a lot of people ask, what do you need for fostering? And also, people just ask, what do I have for fostering? Because I have more than what you need. But all the things I have are greatly helpful. So, I'm just going to go over what's in the closet. Let's start from the bottom. This is where I put all the litter things and um, litter genies refills because I use litter genies which are so helpful. Then I put some beds here. I have a couple other beds over here but they need wash. Actually this one doesn't need wash. Don't, these two don't need wash. Actually these don't need wash. They just didn't fit. I forgot. This side's a little bit of a mess because um, it, well, it looks a mess because it's the gate that I use sometimes when we have mama kitties. We also have, now have a playpen, so we'll see how that works. Um, it'll work before the kittens climb the sides, because I like the mom to be able to get in and out. But um, we'll see. I have this little tiny litter box and two extras for when we do have tiny kittens. That's the thing, is if you foster from mama that have little tiny babies up to eight weeks, your needs vary greatly. Like I need a little litter box when they're real tiny, but then when they get older, they don't need the tiny box anymore, and it's actually too small for them. So have their box of a bunch of toys and then some uh, extra scratcher that little box i never use i could use it um actually that might be for when they're the mom when they're medium size i don't know it's been so long i feel like it's been a few months since i've had little tinies like probably four months or so um up here i have supplies i have baby wipes we have lots of Lysol wipes. We have lots of baby wipes as well. We have pumpkin baby food. And then the um, kitties that go with um, real tiny babies that don't have mommies. And we have the snuggle safe. Let's see. We have some extra treats up here. And then we have these treats. And then behind it is the cat food. The kitten food like this. We have some toys that we interchange. Um, I do use these. I just switch them out every once in a while so that they have new stuff. And since we don't really have any kitties right now, I'm not switching them out at the moment because we don't have any in here. I have these carriers. These two are um, fosters. This one's a foster. That one's Max's. Maya's actually up there. I realize that I have all this extra room up, like really tall, which is really nice. Um, and then this is for when I have mommy and babies because we need a bigger one for that. Like they wouldn't all fit in there. And it all depends on the amount of kittens and if I have mom and babies kind of thing, which one I use. So all of those are greatly used um, and appreciated. Almost everything, pretty much everything in this closet has been donated. So you guys are absolutely amazing. I have a little cleanup thing and then some bowls, some new bowls that we got that I'm going to take with us when we go to adoptions. I finally put this, found the place to put the stickers up because it's perfect for my little workstation. The flippers even in. Um, but this is going to be the little workstation. I know it's still pretty crowded, but with little kittens. The problem is, is that whenever I open the closet, all the cats dash in here. So, it actually might be smart to put those ones over here. That way it makes a block. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but this is just all stuff that I can get to really close this I use the scale, which the scale's not in the closet, so it must be either falling behind the bed. This is all still a mess. I have to clean these. I deep clean those in between litters. Um, I have a lot of stuff in there, too. Or I might have put it in one of these drawers. But we'll find it eventually. This is still the cleaning part. <laughs> I've been cleaning for almost two hours because I have not cleaned, organized this since when I moved in. So it kind of got really messy. And... It might not look organized to you, but it all makes sense to me. Um, this stuff we're almost out of. It's also really good because now I know like what things we can add to the list. Because people are always asking me to add stuff, which is amazing. I never ever expected people to be so generous, and I'm very thankful. We've got lots of cat toys. You can't really see them right now with the light. But we've got these pet washcloths, which are absolutely amazing. And I feel really good about using these on kittens. Because um, they're just natural. And then um, we've got Lysol for quick cleanups on the floor, like poop and stuff like that, so that we don't get bacteria. They're definitely not for the cats. Um, or to use, like, all over, 
like where the cats might lick or anything like that because you know it's not good for them but anyway we've got this is our medical kit i found some more eye ointments so that's good so we're all good on the eye ointments what's this one so we've got erythromycin which is big oh this one must be the prescription one we got this one looks like I don't know what that one is. That one's different. And then teramycin. We always have the teramycin and erythromycin. I'm not sure. Oh, this was the was this the steroid one? We had to use for Mama Cat, I think. Um, when she had a really bad eye. We've got the toothbrush for babies that don't really have a mom, or even just the bond with them. It feels like their mama's tongue. Got um nail clippers, which are essential because we don't declaw our cats. Got some. I found this one. It's gonna be so cute. And this one, collars for when they go up for adoption. Oh, I still need to go to PetSmart. Um, Catherine was so nice to give us um, coupons, gift cards to Petco because they don't really have that cute of collars online that I could find. This is Capstar. I didn't realize I had so many. Awesome. Um, this is what we give to mama cats, like, and it lasts 24 hours, kills all the fleas. Um, we usually, like, mama cats, we can use that, but we can't use it on babies, so... Babies we um, wash with Dawn, which people have a fit over that, but it kills the fleas and it makes them jump off of the cats. There's nothing else really safe that will do that for that young of kitten. We've got a lot of syringes because, like, you know, we have to give them meds a lot. And we've got, in case we get little battle babies, we have the miracle nipple. So, yeah, I've had all stages, but I've never had bottle babies without a mom that's feeding them also because I just have not had the wherewithal to do feedings every two hours. Um, we have this cute little brush for little tiny kittens. See a block in the light. Have some treats and then some probiotic treats for sick kitties and just ones with low immune systems. We have deworming meds that we do on all of our cats because almost every kitten comes in with worms. Um, one's worm. Oh, those aren't the real. I was like looking. One's for worms and one's something else. I can't remember right now. Calming spray. This is a mixer bottle for baby formula, for kitten formula. You have to get specifically kitten. This is a litter attractant that I use. It works really well. Wow, it's 200 pounds. Yeah, this is a huge thing. I've lost this forever. Here's some extra toys. Um, the little tunnels. Um, and like it's all appropriate for different kittens. Like, with the tunnels, uh, I like it with, with older cats that are not shy at all because kit, little shy ones will hide. I put all of our little stick things here. There's less than you see we've gotten because they've broken the stick things off, but we still have the toys just without um, sticks like this. It has a little string on it, so I still keep them as long as they're safe. We do. I did go through all the toys and make sure they were all safe because sometimes they get where they're unsafe for kittens. We have this that we use for mommy. This one I use for pictures only because it's white, so they'll get it really dirty. Um, yeah, so that's the cat closet. Um, I hope that was helpful. We have wet food. The kitties eat wet food. Kittens do have to eat wet food. Well, they don't have to. I guess they just should. And then, like, we have our food thing over there. That has to be clean because I haven't gone for a week and there's been no kittens. So, We'll see you later. Thanks for watching.